Hey guys, Rexhard here with another Awakened Chaos Error video. As you might have remembered from last time, we did from floor 11 to 20, so now let's do 21 to 30. Let's jump into it. The same team, no gear has changed, nothing. So, just going to A1 here with Luna. A1 here with Antonua. Very nice. You can A1 here with Nathalia. Still very strong. Alright, so the problem child here is Celine. Celine. And then Rorok. So ideally, what we're going to do is try and get rid of Celine. Now, obviously, what we can do here is obviously you focus down on Hydrissia here as well because they're quite low all of them and then we just use Natalia and she should be able to clean up those two. Oh we did not get the damage that's fine I didn't even rage up with that Lux should be okay we're fine we're fine we're fine we could have raged up with that Lux just to secure that but he's quite strong so we're doing pretty good Now we're on to floor 22, Vance, Gubeg, Balbareth, and the Light Wing, Zachary. Now, if your Antinua is strong enough, she should be strong enough to be able to kill... Um, oh my god, I probably shouldn't have used the ultimate there. That's a big error on my part. Should be fine though, should be fine. We, I, th I believe we might be strong enough. So what we're going to do here is hopefully we don't curse, don't bonus turn them. So he did bonus turn, that's okay. So what we're going to do here is attack Gubeg. Oh, we killed him. Alright, we are going to rage up here with Nathalia. Try and get as much damage as we can. Maybe we can do it. We were able to do it, luckily. Um, now, obviously, if he did kill someone, um, you might just have to try again. I would have ultimate um, Antonua on on um, um, what's his name? I would have ultimate up on Lightwing Zachary and then hope for a curse proc and then she would have bonus turn after him. Hopefully he was low enough that even if he did bonus turn you should be able to kill him with her next ability there. So even though he killed Zalux he should stay dead now. Yes, very nice. So that's great. So yeah, so Ultimate Lightwing Zachary with Antonua. Hopefully you get a Curse proc with it. Um, and then hopefully he's low enough. And then hopefully you get another Curse proc when you do A1. And pray that he doesn't get two bonus turns from that. Worst case scenario, if he does get a bonus turn, try it again and repeat the same stage. Try and do the same kind of method. It should work. It's just de it's very RNG dependent on the amount of bonus turns that you do apply to Lightwing Zachary, obviously. Does kind of suck, but hey, it is what it is at the end of the day. Very nice. Now here, as I mentioned previously, Marion is the problem child here. Then Rorok. Then you could obviously say Kyle is also a kind of a problem, but you should be okay. So defense down, AoE taunt. Very nice. We do get a counter attack. That is okay. That's okay. So what we're going to do is try and get rid of Rorok here with the ultimate here. Get a curse proc maybe. No. Are you going to attack Kyle here? He does attack back though. And we do get a double counter attack. Oh no. Unfortunately. They stunned her. And that's fine. We do have them quite low. Nathalia should be able to kill them. Or very close to. The worst case scenario is that Lux comes in and cleans them up for us. That was a little bit unfortunate there. 
Thomas did come in with the stun on Antonua, making her useless. Otherwise, we probably would have killed Kyle there. Damn. Also, guys, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I do appreciate that very much. It helps me grow, makes me a little bit more motivated to make more YouTube videos and stuff. Especially with the way Ace is currently. It's a little bit here nor there. Um, also, if you do have any suggestions on videos or anything that you do want to see and have not seen them yet, do leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to give it a go. I do have access to an account that has almost every single champion in the game except for Imogen. Um, but I do also have access to an account that does have Imogen. So worst case scenario, if there is a, a, a comp or something that you want to see with Imogen, I'll be more than happy to try and put that together for you. So defense down here, AOE taunt. There, there we go. All right. So the problem child here would definitely be Nathalia and Crazed Urzag. So obviously we're going to do the ultimate here on Nathalia. We did one hit her. Very nice. And then we attack Borden. Almost dead. So we're going to attack Crazed Urzag here. Very nice. We are going to ultimate here on Nathalia. We may not be able to beat a QB. No, that's okay. Zalek should come up on the clear up. Obviously, we would have ultimated, but he was very low, so we just ate one. It very nice. Yeah. So if you guys have any any videos or anything that you want to see, do let me know, and I'll try and do them for you. Um, but yeah, let's let's get back into this. It's quite quite interesting. So if you so just just keep that in mind, making sure so Luna Melisa doesn't have to go first. I have her going first just purely because of the focus. Um, she does apply the defense down, which helps me. Um, as I mentioned before, if you are on a wave three turn, you can happily do that ultimate. So we do get ultimate, no curse proc unfortunately, but we should be strong enough to kill those minions. There we go, we got a curse proc. All of them have died. Amazing. So we're going to A1 here. And we're just going to A1 here. Very nice. We will just A1 here. Oh no, we didn't kill them all. That's okay. Zalux will clean up here. Very nice. He very rarely gets a turn at the moment, but maybe for you guys he's taking a turn. Now the problem child here is obviously Tia, then Mulligo. So what we're going to do is defense down. And AoE taunt. We're going to focus our Tia first, then Mulligo. So Tia needs to die. The reason why, because she does do a frostbite on everyone. We did get a curse proc, amazing. We are going to attack Mulligo here. We're going to ultimate here on Nathalia. We could have obviously raged up there on Antonua or Nathalia. Either one would have been fine. Normally you would do Antonua since she was naturally the strong affinity there. So, worst case scenario. But then, if you need the AoE damage from Natalia, Natalia would always take the rage up. Um, Antonua is just there to help you deal some of the damage there. To kill some of these stronger champions that you might be struggling with. So we're just going to A1 again with Luna Melisa here. A1 with Antonua. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. And then we're gonna A1 here. Did not kill it. So we're gonna ultimate here with Zatlux just in case. We probably could have A1 there, but we're not gonna take the risk. Alright, so now the problem with this one is obviously Abbott. Luna Melisa does so much. I mean Melisa does a lot of damage. She is naturally fast. Very strong. What we're going to do is focus Abbott here. He is the healer. He does grant a bonus turn. So ideally we want to try and get rid of him if we can. Very nice. The failure should be able to take out Melisa and Hector. We might be stuck with Gajar, which should be okay. Zatlock should be able to finish him up for us. Worst case scenario. Very nice. Now, worst case scenario is if we did miss, he he would have just attacked Luna Melisa. She would have absorbed the damage. She may or may not have died. Because he probably would have been under 50%. And I don't know how hard he probably would have hit. And he does apply poison to everyone. But we should have been okay. We're just going to A1 again. 
Do a little bit of damage. A1 there. Very nice. And we're just going to A1 here as well. We did get deflected. Let's see if we can kill it. We can with the A1. Now, the same situation here. You want to go for Burzag here. Then Brand Raven. But the way this is going to work out is because of Brand's counter attack, we are going to try and attack Windrex. That's fine. And then we're going to attack Raven here. Didn't do enough damage. That should be okay. Nathalie comes in now. Does the AoE damage. Three of them died. That is the entire reason why we attack Windrex there. It's because the Bird's Egg likes six Exorb damage. So. They should have all been quite low. So worst case scenario is um, instead of attacking Windrex there. You would have used it on Bird's Egg to try and remove that damage mitigation that he does. So if you are having troubles. Let's do a meal coupon. Very nice. Harbeg. Harbeg, Harbeg, Harbeg. Let's go. A1 again with Luna. A1 with Antonua. Very nice. Killing them. Hopefully get a curse proc. Amazing. That's what you ideally want to do. If your Nathalia is not strong enough, you can obviously ultimate. She does reset her ultimate. Here, the biggest problem here would probably be a Vera and then this guy. I can't remember his name. What's his name again? I can't remember. I think it's um, Va Vauk. Not Vauk. Might be. He's, uh, very, he's the second champion to be worried about. Um, obviously, a Vera will be the problem. We're going to go with the attack on him first. Since we have the affinity bonus... Take that extra damage, nice. Then we're going to focus and Vera there. Got a curse proc. We were able to kill two minions with the price of one champion. Quite impressive. Those two just died from the Thalia. Worst case scenario is obviously Zatlux would have cleaned them up for us. And no one would have even had a turn. Worst case scenario, if they do, Luna takes the damage. Hopefully she can take one or two hits with the 20k health that she has. She'll probably die in one hit though. But that may or may not break your chances of winning. So here we go. Again, A1 again with Luna. A1 with Antonua. We'll attack that guy. Get another one. No bonus proc. That is okay. Very nice. So. Yolanda and Vance are the biggest problems in this one. Corrupt Auroch is also kind of a problem. But not technically an essential piece. Um, I would say Zachary is more deadly than Corrupt Aura currently. But what we're going to do is obviously kill Yolanda. Because we don't want her to proc those shields. That's the last thing that we will want to do. So this is normally what would happen. What we're going to do is have a look at their health. 5k health to 12k. What we're going to do here. Let's obviously attack Zachary there. Pray we don't get deflected. We didn't get deflected. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So what we're going to do here is now stun. Stun Vance. We probably should have a 2 But we're okay. We're going to ultimate here. And kill off Vance. No deflection. Amazing. So he did get a bonus turn. Which was okay. Because Luna stunned him. So Zalux would have been able to come in at worst case scenario and clean him up. Quite nicely there. Floor 30. Molhex, Rorok, Zalux and whatever that guy is. I can't remember his name. Unfortunately, it's not a champion that we use a lot of. So we're just going to A1 here. We will do ultimate here. Very nice. Get a curse proc, maybe. Nope. A1. A1. And we got a curse proc. Very nice. Cleaning up. So we're going to A1 once again. A1 once again. We did not kill him in one hit. They're getting stronger. This is where we're going to start having some issues. So ideally what you want to do here is Molhex is the problem child here. Then obviously Zatlux. The defense down. 
AoE taunt. And then we're going to target Molehex. Oh, we're not doing as much damage as I'd like, so we're going to attack him. Hopefully we can kill him. We got a curse proc. Amazing. We're going to AoE damage here. I don't think Nathalia will kill them all. Ooh, very close. And then clean up on Zack. Lux here. Very nice. Anyway, that is floor 30, guys. That's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.